Hello everyone, welcome back to the BDS Formula 1 YouTube channel. Today, it's time for the Discord Tournament. Now, of course, how this works, if you're on the Discord, you probably know this already. You pick the Beyblade, not everybody did, sadly. That Beyblade represents you, and the winner, aka the person who picked the winning Beyblade in the end, gets the event champion role. So we're going to start off with Group A. As you saw in the intro bit. Here are the matchups for Group A. You have Cobalt Drake representing Kilometers versus Wizard Arrow. And then we have Dran Buster going up against Night Lance. Sadly, no one picked any one of these three bays. So we're going to start off with Kilometers versus Wizard Rod. Go shoot. Go shoot. Now, this is going to follow the X point system. And I really hope you guys know what Beyblade is. Basically, spin finish, one point, burst finish, ring out finish, they're both two points, and then extreme finish is instant win. So one point to Wizard Arrow with that spin finish then. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, and it's a ring out finish. 2-1 to kilometers. Go shoot. Go shoot. Now, Kilometers picked an attack type bay to go up against this stamina type bay, which in most cases would be very good if it wasn't for the fact that this is Wizard Arrow. Just making sure that it's square on the camera as well. And it looks like Wizard Arrow is going to take another W. It is two all. Next two points will win and progress into the final part of A block. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! Extreme dash and an extreme fail! Kilometers is out! And Wizard Rod moves up to the final round of A Block. Or A Group. So next up we have Dran Buster versus Night Lance. For shoot. For shoot. Ring out finish immediately. That's 2 0 to Dran Buster. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! Extreme finish! That counts as an extreme finish. And so Night Lance will go up against Wizard Rod. So let's see that match. Go shoot. Go shoot. Now, if you were to do any of these battles yourself at home, results will vary. Vary because, well, of course they will. I'm a dumbass. Because I'm just one guy doing this. The winner of this match will go up to face against the Group B winner. Which, I believe, contains the most amount of participants. 1-0 Wizard Rod. So shoot. Go shoot. Now, of course... This is Defense versus Stamina, better known as the most boring battle. So I'm just going to speed it up. Okay, didn't need to speed it up, because it is, I believe, 3 nothing. Go shoot. Go shoot. 3 nothing was not rod so far. Complete and utter domination. Can't do an extreme dash, sadly. And it's just circling its opponent in Night Lance. Easiest dub in the world if it can get it. Oh! Quite a bit of a jump, almost an extreme finish, but luckily for Wizard Rod, it is the Group A champion. Moving on to Group B then. Here are the bays that you can see. And will be participating. Um. Okay. And. Okay. As for the bays themselves. In the first matchup. We will have fellow Max Hater. Represented as Dranzord going up against. Soul Phoenix. Who is representing me. Hopefully I don't win. And then we have Rhino Horn. And Hell's Hap. Hell's. Hell Scythe, I have 
bad memory when it comes to this, going up against each other. And then the winner of both will become Group B champion and go up against Wizard Rod. So first of all, Dran Sword versus Saw Phoenix. Go shoot. This will probably be one of the faster matches here. Oh, that's on into the pocket. Comes out. And it's only a spin finish. Just about for fellow Max Hater. Go shoot. Never mind. Go shoot. Go shoot. Now, Soul Phoenix excels in the extreme dash. He gets an extreme finish. So through goes me. I guess. The reason I chose this to represent me and not anything else is because this is literally all I got for my birthday. What oh Anyway. Next matchup is Rhino Horn versus Hell's Scythe. There are a lot of Hell Bays here. I can remember them all. And it is an instant ring out finish. 2 nothing to Hell Scythe. Go shoot. Go shoot. Six nil to Hell Scythe. Maximum you can get in one of these matches is seven nil. So it's gonna be Hell Scythe versus me. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! Scythe gets the extreme, and it's an extreme finish. So your B-Bop champion is so Phoenix who represents me. Before we get on to B block versus A block, we gotta do C block and D block first. So as for C block, here are your matchups. You have Dran Dagger going up against Shark Edge. Shark Edge representing Vol. Uh, Shark Edge not being represented by anyone. Almost thought it was represented by someone there. And Dran Dagger representing U Cable. And then you have Hell's Hell's Chain going up against. Uh, Night Shield, Hell's Chain representing, um, Volcano, some, Volcano something or another. You will know them in the FEMC and now the BDS Monoposity Championship, the BDS Formula 1 Championship as Valeria A. Ramirez. So, let's just get on to the first match. It's UK Ball versus Shark Edge. Hopefully, he doesn't get edged out. Go shoot. Now this bay in Dran Dagger is meant to do very good extreme dashes like that one there. And it's meant to do it consistently. Didn't really do it consistently, but it gets the first point. One nil to you, Cable. Go shoot. Go shoot. Very glad that I got this piece. Oh! Sure, Kurt with the ring out. Finish. 2-1 to the edge. Bro, we got edged. Go shoot. Go shoot. Look at the amount of extreme dashes that these bays are pulling off here. Of course, it's the stamina dodge. It's going to go to the bay that has the most stamina. And look at that. I think we know who's going to win this one. Unless Shark Edge can actually hit Dran Dagger. It doesn't. And it's two all. Next two points wins. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! And it's a ring up! And you came all this out. 4-2 with an extreme finish at the end there. So then we have Valeria Ramirez going up against uh, Night Shield. I'm sorry for not using your actual Discord username. It's just too long to remember. Just shoot. Just shoot. So we just use it. Oh, extreme dash number one. Kind of helps. Jane do another. Does a second, but it misses. Do we get a third extreme dash or will it lose to stamina? Because that's the issue. Night Shield is a stamina masterclass. And 1 0 to Night Shield, despite it not even pulling off the extreme dash. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, a reverse extreme dash. Oh, and it's stuck. It's stuck in the corner. Comes out. And now it's just circling its prey as hell's uh, chain. Can it get a win? Can it get a point at all? Or will it be outlasted and outdefended 
body the shield. And as the hits come in, and it's stamina drains, 2-0 to, he to a Helm Knight or Knight Shield. So shoot. Well, it doesn't do too much of anything. So shoot. So coming in for the kill. Gets another hit in. Kind of extreme dash its way into victory. It doesn't seem like it's extreme dash at all. And Knight Shield is just defending every hit. And with that stone cold defense, it lost the point! 2 1! 2 1 to Knight Shield! Just about! Extreme dash! And an extreme finish! Extreme finish at the end! And Valeria Ramirez just about manages to get that way through into the match against Shark Edge with a 5 2 victory. Go shoot! Go shoot! Oh! Massive hit! Another great hit there from Shark Edge! But Shark Edge, as you saw in its match against Drandaga, struggles with stamina, but it does have great amounts of attack. So going up against Helm Knight would have been a travesty. Going up against Hell's Chain would have been better, as you can see. 1 0 to Shark Edge! Go shoot! Go shoot! Oh! Extreme dash from Shark Edge! And a failed extreme dash from Helms, from House Chain, representing Valeria Ramirez. And yeah, I think it's safe to say, considering the spin speeds, all Hell's Chain has to do is keep this up, and it takes the point one all. I haven't seen a single burst finish today. Seen everything but. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! Double ring out. It's a double ring out finish there. We will not count that. So it's still one off. Go shoot. Go shoot. One more mistake like that and it will go to last point. Go shoot. Shark Edge struggling on stamina, and it's 3-1 Shark Edge with that ring out finish. If Shark Edge can get another point in, it will move on to the semis. Go shoot. And it's an extreme finish! Extreme dash from Shark Edge takes it to Group C Champion. Now, to end this off, end off the group stages, that is, we have these four bays. We're going to start off with Unicorn Sting going up against Wizard Arrow, and then we have the Blue Shark Edge going up against Hell's Hammer, representing a new member of the server in Claw. So we're going to start off with Unicorn Sting versus Wizard Arrow. Go shoot! Go shoot! Now, Wizard Arrow, in my opinion, might actually be one of the most versatile bays to be competing here. And it's Big Brother and Wizard Rod actually winning the A group. And at the end of the day, this is going to come down to stamina. Who's got more? And it's Wizard Arrow 1-0. So shoot. So shoot. Now, Unicorn Sting, if it has enough power, can extreme death, but I don't think it's got enough momentum to actually go on the extreme line that circulates the edge of the stadium. And who's going to take this one here? It's very close, if you ask me, but I think this will go to Wizard Arrow. This could go to Wizard Arrow. And it's 2-0 Wizard Arrow. Just about. Go 
Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh! Two holes! Got on the extreme one and just about took the point. The failure of a wizard arrow is burst resistance. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, it's three dash! Four wizard arrow! Three in a row! Doesn't quite have the attack powers actually pull off a massive extreme finish in the end. And this, this is going to go to, this is going to be unbelievably close. And it's, it's 3-2 to Unicorn Sting. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, burst finish! It's a burst finish and Unicorn Sting will take it after being burst by the burst. Uh, Wizard Arrow there. So next up then, it'll be Claw with an X going up against the blue Shark Edge. Go shoot! Go shoot! Oh! oh no, no. X3 finish! Claw is out! An immediate extreme first for Blue Shark Edge! Meaning that your final match will be Blue Shark Edge versus Unicorn Sting. Go shoot! Go shoot! These two ladies have the best extreme dash possibility, as you can see there. And who's going to take the point here? You can see the stamina issue with Shark Edge really coming back to haunt it. 1 0 to Unicorn Sting. Go shoot! Go shoot. And it's a ring out. Three nothing to Unicorn Sting. It looks like it's ready to punch its ticket into the semi-finals. But look at that punching it into the into the pocket there. And three two goes Blue Shark Edge. Three two currently. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! Out with a self knockout. Quite the defense from Unicorn Sting to take the Group D victory. This is it. The final match is up. The semi-final round. Representing A Group, we have Wizard Rod. Representing B Group, we have Soul Phoenix, which also represents me. Representing C Group, we have Shark Edge and representing... D group, we have Unicorn Sting. So let's take a look at A group versus B group. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! And it's a ring out finish immediately. 2-0 to Soul Phoenix. Go shoot. Go shoot. Many strong heads there. Almost an extreme dash. And it's a burst finish. 4-0 to Soul Phoenix. With the first true burst finish of the tournament. So through to the final goes B Group Saw Phoenix. So let's take a look at C Group versus D Group. It's Shark Edge versus Unicorn Sting. Go shoot. Go shoot. Massive hit from Shark Edge as it's known for, but it as its opponent runs low on stamina, Shark Edge tips, grazing the stadium floor. But it is 1 0 to Shark Edge. Go shoot! Go shoot! Oh! Jumping from Unicorn Sting, and it's a ring out finish! 2 1 Unicorn Sting, the crafty Blue Bay. Go shoot! Go shoot! So three to the finals goes Unicorn Sting representing D Group. D Group. D Group versus B Group. It's Saw Phoenix versus Unicorn Sting. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh! And it's a self KO to nothing to Unicorn Sting. Go shoot. Go shoot. 
That is another KO, knockout, finish, or ring out, whichever you're inclined to. But this time it goes to Saul Phoenix. Two all. What an even rematch. It's a match we're having here. Oh, flying across the stadium. Almost looks like it was an extreme dash from Saul Phoenix incoming. Very low goes Saul Phoenix. Can it recover? No, it can't. 3 2 to Unicorn Sting. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, flying into the pocket. And it's 5 3 to your champion in Saul Phoenix. I can't give myself the event champion role well, now, can I? But anyway, that wraps up today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when I do another Beyblade tournament for my Discord subscribers. But this time, please actually join in the Discord server will be linked in the description. Bye!